Hello everyone, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV here in Round Rock, Texas. Today I'm going to show you around the Sonic 190 VRB. Now this trailer is made by Venture RV. I love the modern styling. They have made the inside so clean and just all the finishing touches, very impressive. It has a rear bath, plenty of storage, a Murphy bed, feels so open, you're going to love it. It's 23 feet long. It weighs 3,900 pounds and loaded with style. So let's go inside and get started. The inside of this trailer, it just feels so nice, open. Like I said, a very clean design. I really appreciate the wood look on the floor. It's light, it's natural. Neutral tones, enough of that. Let's look at the details. This Murphy bed, flat with the wall, it looks like part of the cabinetry. That to me gives it a very finished look. Hanging cabinets on both sides. Floor to ceiling here, of course you can always put shelves in there if you'd like. And down below is a 110 plug. Now that's exactly the same on both sides. Across the top, a little more storage here. This is about 12 inches deep, but it does have the curve of the front on it. So you will not have the full height, of course, in here, but plenty of space. I really appreciate also the walk around room here because it's very easy to get to these cabinets when you're coming in, when you have the sofa up during the day. Very easy to access anything around here. Now let's look at folding down the Murphy bed. This is very simple to do. Just lift up the jackknife sofa, lay it down, and then unclip the panel. Folds right down on top. Very easy to put it up and down if you want the sofa during the day. It also feels very much like a walk around bed. That's always a plus. Easy to make, easy to change the sheets, and of course, access all the cabinets. They do have this uh, kind of weathered wood look on the back underneath that I think adds a little bit of style here and the blackout shade on the window. You have lights right above, both sides, easy to reach, and USB plug over here, another 110 plug on the other side. It's a little tough to see, but behind these cabinets is yet another storage cubby. So if there's things that you only need in the evening, that's a great place to store books, glasses, anything like that when the bed's folded out. So this is one of the best Murphy beds I've seen because it kind of rolls all the great things of a sleeping area into one. Now let's move over and take a look at this kitchen. This kitchen, while the layout is not very different from what you see in a lot of trailers, it feels very clean, very well done, and very usable. Let me show you why. First of all, I really like the material they have made this countertop with. It is a one-piece look, so you don't have any seams to catch the water, but it has a, a marble look and a gloss and a matte finish mixed together. You're not gonna have any rings show up, a little bit of dirt. It is really gonna hide any of those things that maybe aren't perfect when you're camping. Nice residential faucet here with a single handle. And look at this nice farm sink. Instead of sink covers, they have an aluminum grate that just rolls right out over the top of it. You could use it as a counter space. You could use it to drain dishes or dry them. Um, just any number of uses. When you're ready to get it out of the way, it just very easily rolls up. You can see there is a beautiful brushed stainless uh, farm sink here. I like it when it's this deep. You can set something in the other side and still work in the other portion of the sink. When you need it again, this drain just rolls right out. Very easy. You have a window right behind here, so when you're working, you can see what's going on outside, get a little ventilation. Now, 
this does have uh, blinds. The rest of the trailer is going to have a blackout shade. So keep that in mind in kitchens. That's pretty standard for the fire code. Um, the light is right on top, so you can easily see what you're doing. Let's take a look at this cabinet. Now this is a curved roof. Now front to back, there is a bit of an arch in it. So when they put this cabinet in, there's about six inches on top of it. I would use that for all kinds of accessible storage when I was camping. And the front of this cabinet, it's actually a glass material. With the edges in it, it has kind of a silver reflection and it works beautifully with the colors that they have in the valance. The storage in here, well, it's about two feet deep. And of course, as you can see, great pantry space. Underneath, another big cabinet space underneath the sink, and then two drawers on this side. Drawers are just the most efficient way to store things, and it's great for silverware, maybe uh, some cooking utensils, whatever you'd like to keep there. Now on the left side, microwave at the top. Of course, you've got the light and the fan in your hood vent. A glass top over the three burner stove. And this glass top, it's gonna give you more counter space when you're not using the stove, of course. Look right behind there, the cutting board with the Venture RV logo in it. It's not just for show. It's a great place to store a cutting board and it's very easy to just lift right off. Use it when you need it. Once it's clean and dry, hang it right back up. You know, you're always looking for great places to store things in a trailer and they've made that part of it very easy. Underneath, lighted handles, just a little bling in your trailer. Great nightlight, by the way. And you do have a sparker on this side for lighting all the burners. And then of course your oven control over here. If this blue light bothers you at night, you do have a switch to turn it off. Oven underneath. And below that, the forced air furnace. Now let's get to something that I really think is special. Standard in this trailer is the 12 volt refrigerator. Now, a lot of you guys may be worried about 12 volt refrigerators. If you're a veteran RVer, this is not your standard 12 volt. This is a compressor driven refrigerator and look how deep those shelves are. Normally a standard RV refrigerator is very shallow. This goes back about two feet and has a really nice sized freezer. It is running directly off your battery, but it's so much more efficient than the refrigerators that you're used to in an RV that ran on 12 volt. So don't worry about that. This is going to work beautifully whether you're in a campground or whether you're boondocking. There's a 100 watt solar panel on the roof that's going to keep that battery charged and keep your refrigerator running really well. If you really want to have the standard RV refrigerator with the electric and the gas option, that is available on this trailer. It's an upgrade. This one is standard, but trust me, you'll love this refrigerator. Let's move on. Take a look in the bathroom. Runs all the way across the back of the trailer. First thing I want to tell you, coming into this bathroom, it is a narrow door, but you know what? That allows you to have a very spacious corner shower and plenty of storage. The bathroom does not feel tight at all. Just a little narrow coming in. I'm going to start right over here with the storage. There's a nice linen cabinet here with hanging clothes at the top and storage down underneath. Not only do you have that, but you've got more storage under the sink and that's just a fair amount of space. Very surprising. And a medicine cabinet up above. This medicine cabinet, of course, has the mirror on it and two nice shelves and then more storage on top of it. The thing that I really like about this is the way they have done this countertop. You've got probably eight to 10 inches of counter space behind the sink. So you can leave things on the counter and they won't be in your way. Then that counter space wraps around to the side for anything that you'd like to have right next to you 
that's very accessible. Really a nice setup and it feels very open in here. They also put some of the controls right here next to the sink. You've got a 110 plug on the left and in front of that your monitor panel. So you can turn on the water pump, the water heater, and see all the tank levels right here in the bathroom. They have done a lot of things in this trailer to try to keep all those controls out of sight. So this trailer looks very clean. They put some thought into it. Be sure you notice that when you're looking around. There is a switch on the right, just turning the light on and off. So it's really accessible when you walk in. Let's look over here. On this side, again, another cabinet behind the toilet, three shelves, so much storage in here. And I really appreciate the countertop above because there are, again, are more things that you can leave out sitting on top of this counter that are super accessible. One thing I did notice, a porcelain toilet. That's not only going to stay really clean, but it's going to feel solid and more residential for sure. The shower, like I mentioned, it is a corner shower with solid doors. They're going to roll open and closed a lot of space in there. And really for a trailer this size, I'm so impressed with this bathroom. There is a fan at the top. It is a standard 12 volt fan, but uh, if you're a veteran RVer, you'll know that you can upgrade that to a power fan if you want a little more exhaust capability. All right, amazing in here. Let's go back out into the living area. Look at the dinette. Right here outside the bathroom, is the controls on the wall. Now this is the only place you're going to see controls out in the open. Everything else is hidden. That's a nice feature. It makes it feel very modern, very clean in here. At the top, this is a Level Mate Pro. What that is, is it's going to tell you the exact level of your trailer at any given time. So you may find that the back of your site is more level than the front. If you download the app, the Level Mate Pro will tell you how level your trailer is. If you need to bump up a tire, it will also tell you exactly where you're at. So it doesn't level your trailer, but it helps you to see where you are at any given time. It's a great feature. The AC is right below that. Now that's going to control your furnace and your AC. This trailer happens to have the 15,000 BTU upgraded AC in it. If it's super hot weather outside, that's always a nice plus. The 13.5 is going to be the standard on this trailer. Down below is the tire link. Now that is pre-wired in case you'd like to add uh, the tire pressure monitoring system that goes with it. That way you can monitor your tires as you go down the road and you can work with not only the monitor here inside the trailer, but also an app. So you can check that out online, tire link. L-I-N-C. It doesn't come with the trailer, but it's pre-wired and ready to go. Just below that, the carbon monoxide and LP detector. Standard in every trailer, going to keep you safe because, of course, the LP is heavier than air and it's going to go down to the ground. That's going to let you know if anything is wrong that you need to be concerned about. All right, moving on, let's look at this great dinette. It has a Nice solid cushion on it. Again, that tabletop material that was on the counter that I really like. It gives you a nice open feel when there's a white countertop. It is a double pole underneath. So this is a very sturdy trailer. If you do computer work or paperwork here at the dinette, not a problem. It of course folds down into a bed. So you have extra sleeping there if you need it and I love the really big window here. Um, it opens to the side, so you've got this huge area for airflow. And remember in this trailer, you've got the window behind the sink and then two windows in the bed area. So lots of airflow coming through here. If you're not running the AC and you just wanna open the windows, light right above it. So this, this table lights up very nicely. And let's take a look up above. The AC upgrade is available as an option. Also the television here. Now it's on a swing arm, so you can pull it out and adjust 
the direction. I think I might pull it towards the center a little bit if I was in bed watching TV especially, so that it's not in the corner. But again, it works fine where it is too. You'll notice there is a King Control panel here. It is pre-wired for Wi-Fi. So if you wanted to set up your own Wi-Fi in the trailer, there are several options available with King. Pre-wired right there for you. Stereo right over here on the end. That of course is gonna have your HDMI, your Bluetooth. It has a CD, DVD player in it, AM, FM, all the things you'd expect. Let's take a look at storage. Again, this really nice glass panel in it. And what you're seeing in the back of this cabinet is going to be the controller for the 100 watt solar panel that's on the roof. That is the off-grid package. So those are the three options that you'll see here. Everything else in the trailer is standard. The AC, the TV, and that off-grid package. This is only about 10 inches deep, runs the length of this cabinet here, but a lot of great space. You've also got more storage up above if you wanted to hide some things above that cabinet. At the end of this cabinet, remember I've told you they've kept all of the switches hidden. They have a hidden panel, opens up here, and you'll see at the top, there is a 110 plug and a 12 volt plug hidden behind that dome. Below, you have lights that are gonna control the awning lights, the porch light, and the interior lights, as well as the power awning, all hidden at the end of the cabinet. Now that we've reviewed all the highlights for the inside, let's head outside next and take a look around. First thing I noticed coming out of a trailer, the steps. I really appreciate steps that are solid. These have adjustable legs in case you're on uneven terrain, but the best part, they fold up and clip into place out of the way so easily. The assist handle, of course, folds out of the way. And right below that, the Venture RV logo with a bottle opener. Nice touch. The fiberglass is backed by Asdell. Now, if you're not familiar with Asdell, that's a product that's a composite that is not affected by water or moisture. So that's gonna give you a nice solid backing, particularly in humid areas. The off-grid package on this trailer is the 100 watt solar panel on the roof. All of the Sonics are gonna come standard with this clearance and with the 15 inch tires. Cable TV hook up here, 110 plug, under a 13 foot awning that's of course lighted. And what a great space this is on the outside. In the back, there's the four inch bumper, spare tire, and it's pre-wired for a backup camera if you'd like to add that at the dealer. On this side, of course, is all your utility connections. The six gallon gas electric water heater, city water connection in case you're hooked straight to the hydrant. This is the black tank flush. Now this trailer has 39 gallons of fresh water, 30 gallon gray and 30 gallon black. So plenty of tank sizes. Outside shower with hot and cold and right down below is the sewer hose connections with the gray and black. Next to that, 30 amp plug in to plug in for shore power. That 39 gallon freshwater tank gets filled right here. Around the front, the rock guard on the bottom half and look at that window. So stylish, it is frameless. It is made just like a windshield, just as sturdy as the one on your car. There is a one piece fiberglass roof on this trailer. It is one of the greatest features here. And we're back around to this beautiful outside area with the 13 foot awning, the lights, stereo speakers. I love showing you this trailer. If there's any questions, let us know. I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV in Round Rock, Texas. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.